welcome back to the channel everybody it's me Raul Alejandro Mendoza or the nerdy Chicano either way how you say it it's all good here and we're back again for another video as we're looking at another film in my collection and today we're going to discuss none other than my favorite film from 2018 from director Alfonso Cuaron Roma on blu-ray from the Criterion Collection as always I hope everyone is doing well I hope everyone's happy healthy and in good spirits and I hope you all have been enjoying the content. I've been enjoying making them. Last time we talked, uh, we were talking about the Andrei Tarkovsky retrospective. And today we're going to look at another film from Alfonso Cuaron. We looked at one earlier this uh, month uh, as we talked about Ito Mama Tambien. And today we're going to be looking at Roma. But of course, if you enjoy reviews about physical media, if you enjoy movies, TV, anything like that, then this is the place for you. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell, and leave a like on this video. All of those three steps help out a lot with the channel growing and getting to new eyes. And if you wanna go ahead and, you know, give an extra helping hand, I do have a Patreon set up over at patreon.com slash the nerd chicano, and you can check that out for early access to videos just like the one you're watching right now, and the video essays. I have two available right now, one on Come and See and one on Stalker. So you, all, you guys should all go and check those out. It would be greatly appreciated. But of course, it's not mandatory, but it is just appreciated. Now, let's talk about this film from the legendary filmmaker, Alfonso Cuarón. Roma comes in at spine number 1014 in the Criterion Collection. And I'm going to go ahead and read from the back. And then we're going to go ahead and look at the packaging and go on from there. Roma. With his eighth and most personal film, Alfonso Cuaron recreated the early 1970s Mexico City of his childhood, narrating a tumultuous period of his, in, his, in the life of a middle-class family through the experiences of Cleo, played by Yalitza Aparicio in a revolutionary screen debut, the indigenous domestic worker who keeps the household running. Charged with the care of small, four small children abandoned by their father, Cleo tends to the family even as her own life is shaken by personal and political upheavals. Written, directed, directed, shot, and, and co-edited by Cuaron, Roma is a labor of love with few parallels in the history of cinema, De uh, deploying monumental black and white cinematography, an immersive soundtrack, and a mixture of professional and non-professional performances to shape its author's memories into a world of enveloping texture and to pay tribute to the woman who nurtured him. Included in this director approved Blu-ray special edition is a 4K digital master supervised by director Alfonso Cuaron with Dolby Atmos soundtrack. Road to Roma, a new documentary about the making of the film featured featuring behind the scenes footage and an interview with Cuaron. Snapshots from the set, a new documentary featuring actors Yalitza Paricio and Marina de Tavira. Producers Gabriela Rodriguez and Nicolás Celis, production designer Eugenio Caballero, casting director Luis Rosales, executive producer David Lindy, and others. New documentaries about the film's sound and post-production processes, featuring Cuaron, Sergio Diaz, Skip Leavesy, and Craig Henningen from the post-production sound team, editor Adam Gall, post-production supervisor Carlos Morales and finishing artist Stephen J. Scott. New documentary about the film's ambitious theatrical campaign and social impact in Mexico follow featuring Celis and Rodriguez. Trailers, alternate French subtitles in Spanish as SDH, plus a booklet featuring writing by novelist Valeria Luiselli, historian Enrique Krause, and author Aurelio Asian along with production design images with notes by Caballero. So you go ahead and uh, just look at this. This is the front of Roma. This is the back. This is the spine. This is the other spine. And this is a digi pack, so you're just gonna wanna go ahead and just open it up. And that is the front. This is the back. And you have this humongous booklet right here. This is the front of the booklet. This is the back of the booklet. And then this is where you have, of course, like the writing, the acknowledgments, the transfer details, and 
you know, cast and crew. Um, I really like this, as you can tell, like, this is, like, the actual, like, real place in Mexico City, and this is the still from the film. There's some really, really cool stuff in here, like, um, it's really interesting to see how they created this, but you can open it up, and you have, like, art right there, and then just production stills and production uh, images, and it's pretty cool. It's a really cool, um... A really cool booklet and you just don't see a lot like these these days but yeah really nice booklet and has a lot of information and I just you know it's it's a really cool one and I really like this one uh, here's just another one of these uh, locations from the lagoon as well so yeah I haven't had the chance to actually read all of the essays in here but I gotta say that it is a really cool booklet and it's pretty hefty you can tell that it has a lot of information in it and then, of course, you have the Blu-ray disc. And then you just have the background and the inside of the Digipack. And then that's kind of it for the packaging for Roma on Blu-ray. Roma is a film that's really special to me. Of course, it was my favorite film from 2018. And I watched it in a theater. At the time, that theater was still open. But by now, um, in this present time that we're living in, the theater has sadly shot down. It has been bought by a different company and they're planning on reopening, but it's not going to be the same owners and it's not going to be possibly showing the same stuff. I, I don't know exactly what their plan is, but, you know, long story short, that theater is closed down and it was a really intimate setting where we saw it. It was, it was filled with a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of people and I actually sat at the very, very front row because I had gotten there late, but... I had to watch it. I mean, I love Alfonso Cuaron. I love his films. And I think he's probably one of the greatest filmmakers to come out of Latin America and one of the greatest filmmakers of all time. So when it was announced that this film was going to come to the Criterion Collection and it would be the first Netflix film to be in the collection, I had to pick it up. I really did. And it sadly just sat on my shelf for so long. And this, this is actually, by the way, guys, this is actually one of the only... Uh, two I think or three criterions in my collection that I actually pre-ordered at full price I didn't wait for a sale I got this at full price because it's a film that that's it's that special to me now I finally had the chance to watch it and be able to pop it into the player and I've got to say this film stands up it's still as great as it was back then and it still has that heavy emotional impact that I had when I first watched it Yalitza Aparicio is incredible in this film and she rightfully deserved her Best Actress nomination. She is just a scene stealer. Every time she's on that screen through her body language and to think that she's just a non-professional actor is incredible because, you know, she's giving some of the best performances she can give in this film and she has never had an acting class. She was a teacher when Cuaron discovered her and decided to have her, you know, take on this role. This really is a culmination of a lot of things that Cuaron has gone through in his life, but as well as a culmination of his career. It is a, a, it's a film that showcases just how much this little boy needed a, you know, a mother figure, but also needed to find something to cling on to and hold on to hope as his country was deteriorating from the inside out and his family unit was deteriorating as well. And he found the love of, of movies. As you can tell, they love going to the movies in this film. And he had, of course, Gleo there who was able to nurture him and be able to love him. It's a movie that stands out not just in a technical aspect, but in a storytelling aspect as well. It has such a beautiful, beautiful approach to telling this very patient film in a very wide angle lens that is trying to give you as much as you can of the area to showcase everything that's going on. Cuaron is the type of filmmaker that always captures what's on the back, what's in the background as much as what's in the foreground. And what's in the background is just as important and is able to tell the story as what's right in front of you. And he does that again in this film. He does that again by showcasing the political unrest in his, in his, in his, uh, in his country, by showing the division in social classes in his country, and showcasing as well the life of domestic workers. It's not a famous thing that you'd see on screen all the time, 
domestic workers are not showcased in a very sympathetic light like this. They're usually just shown as the workers and they're usually abused on, on screen and they don't ever, you know, have a chance to just be humans. You never see any of them have the storyline that Kaleo has in this film. And because of that, I think it's an incredible film. It's a film that has been leading up to this po to that point in Alfonso Cuarón's career. And I'm gotta say, it's just, it's a, such an incredible film. I, I'm still left in awe. I'm left speechless at what Alfonso Cuarón was able to craft with this film. It's truly a special movie from a special filmmaker. Now let's talk about the transfer. So this is a 4K digital transfer on a Blu-ray disc with a Dolby Atmos soundtrack, which is actually really, really, really odd because you never get Dolby Atmos on a Criterion disc, but this one has Dolby Atmos on the Criterion disc. So I was really surprised. I watched this film on my Panasonic 4K player on my TCL 4K TV with no speaker system. So sadly, I couldn't even take advantage of the Dolby Atmos uh, soundtrack. But I've got to say, compared to the movie theater, this isn't going to look as great as the movie theater. I mean, that was just the exact way it should have been seen. And you were able to be in there to see just the beautiful depth of the black and white cinematography. But having it play on my 4K TV, on my 4K player, I've got to say, Roma looks incredible. I love the sharpness of the cinematography and how beautifully detailed it is with this 4K digital transfer. It shows so much depth in the amount of contrast in the film, along with the levels in the black and white levels in there. It looks fantastic. Cuaron does such a great job at being able to capture all this in black and white and still be able to get such a beautiful image out of it. That's not to say that you can't, I'm just saying it is kind of difficult, especially when you don't, when some people don't shoot for black and white, when they just shoot the film and then make it in black and white. But in this case, you can tell that Alfonso Cuaron shot for black and white and it pays off well in this incredible transfer. It looks really good and I was just blown away at the amount of detail that was kept with the resolution. Of course, this is on a Blu-ray disc. It's not on 4K, and part of me wishes it was on 4K so we could really see the depth of that detail and how it's able to be presented with that resolution in 2160p. But on a Blu-ray disc, I've got to say it looks fantastic. I, I can't even come up with any other words, but it just looks so good. The lighting looks great, and it's able to give a really beautiful look into this movie. There's so much uh, there's so much things that I love about this and I, I'm just always left in awe about this film. I loved it when I saw it in the theater and I loved it when I watched it on, on, on physical. And I've got to say the audio track is just as great. I love that this is a movie that has no original score because it's more of a memory than it is an actual narrative film. And because of that, you know, including a actual original score is going to be difficult to keep the authenticity of the moment. So with the soundtrack of music from his childhood that he includes, it makes for a really good atmosphere. And part of that is well represented with this audio soundtrack. The music and the dialogue all sounds balanced. There's no problem with the transferring from, from the streaming or theatrical release to this release on Criterion Blu-ray. So I gotta say, it sounds great. Now, of course, I didn't get to watch it in the Dolby Atmos setting, but if I did, I'm pretty sure I'd love it even more. But for coming out of my, my TV speakers, I gotta say, it, looks, it sounds great, it looks great. And I definitely highly recommend this film if you are participating in the Barnes & Noble's 50% off Criterion sale. But of course, an incredible movie from an incredible filmmaker with a great transfer and a great audio soundtrack. And I'm just so happy that this continues to be such a great movie and is in my collection. Of course, if you want to keep up to date with me on all things social media, you should follow me at The Nerd Chicano on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Letterboxd, Serialize, and on Twitch. I'm on the same handle under all of those. Of course, you can check out what we're doing at The Nerdcore by checking out the nerdcore.com on our website and on our YouTube and Twitch at The Nerdcore. It's the same handle on both of those. We've been doing a lot of really cool stuff. So please go and check all that out, guys. 
And of course, we will see each other again in another video, my friends. But in the meantime, to my wonderful cinephiles and renowned scholars, celebrate the love of cinema today, tomorrow, and every day after. Catch you all in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.